Welcome to two introductory application problems involving composite function notation. A composite function is when we compose or combine two functions. And we use a notation given here below. These are both equivalent and we say f of g of x. When composing a function in this form, it's probably easier to recognize that to evaluate this composite function, we would first evaluate function g, the inner function, and then once we determine the output of function g, we use this value in function f. And to help us remember this, we can also say f after g of x. Again, reminding us we evaluate function g first if the composite function is written in this form. Let's take a look at our example. The function c of f gives the average number of calories burned for walking f floors of stairs, f of t, f of t gives the number of floors of stairs an average person can walk in t minutes. What composite function would you need to evaluate to determine how many calories a person will burn in 30 minutes? Notice in this question, they're giving us the time of 30 minutes. Going back up to our functions, notice if we input time in minutes into function f, it gives us the number of floors of stairs, which we can then input into function c to determine the number of calories burned. So because we have to evaluate function f of t first, this will be the inner function in our composite function. So we'll have f of t, but t is 30, so f of 30. This will give us a number of floors, which we'll then input into function c to determine the number of calories burned. So our composite function is c of f of 30, which we can also write as c after f of 30. This would be the required composite function. Let's take a look at a second example. C of t gives the cost of cooling a house in the desert when the average daily summer temperature is t degrees. T of d gives the average daily summer temperature on day d of summer. What composite function would you use to determine the cost to cool a house in the desert on the 28th day of summer? So we want to know the cost to cool a house when we're given it's the 28th day of summer. So if we evaluate t of 28, this will give us the average daily summer temperature on that day. And then once we know the average temperature, we can substitute that into function c to determine the cost of cooling the house. So we first want to evaluate function t of d, or in this case t of 28. So this will be the inner function. The output of this will be the average daily summer temperature which will be the input into function c, our cost function. So c of t of 28 is our composite function, which we can also write as c after t of 28. These are both equivalent, just written in different composite function notation. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.